Welcome to BIMS TV. I'm Karina Fish, and this is BIMS Bites. Today, I'll be biting into marine heat waves. There are many types of extreme weather events like droughts, wildfires, hurricanes, floods, and heat waves. When the weather forecaster tells us prepare for a full week of high temperatures, we anticipate a heat wave. On land, heat waves are anomalously warm regional temperatures that persist for longer than three days. By anomalously warm, we mean above the 90th percentile. Just like on land, the ocean can experience heat waves too. A marine heat wave is five days or more of sea surface temperatures above the 90th percentile. Here on the graph, we can see that there are four categories of marine heat waves, moderate, strong, severe, and extreme. So where do they occur? Well, by the looks of this map, all over the ocean. We can see all four categories practically everywhere. Besides location and intensity of marine heat waves, what other characteristics about marine heat waves do scientists study? They include duration and frequency, amongst also impacts. Holistically, we can think of marine heat waves as the variability of ocean temperatures. Depending on which definition of marine heat waves used in a changing climate, these marine heat wave characteristics have been shown to be changing due to carbon dioxide emissions from industrial activities. Specifically, due to the definition of marine heat waves being based on percentiles and given the large heat capacity of our ocean and it continuing to absorb more and more heat due to the elevated levels of greenhouse gases, the mean or baseline temperature of the ocean is changing. Thus, using a fixed climatology or reference threshold, extremes in ocean temperatures have become more frequent and longer over the past century. And the frequency, intensity, and duration are expected to increase with increasing carbon dioxide emissions. However, using a changing threshold where we take into account that the mean ocean temperature is increasing and only looking at the variability on top of the new mean temperature, then these increases in characteristics are not seen. What are some of the impacts of periods of regional sustained ocean warmth? Well, they'd be quite a lot. Impacts of marine heat waves can include both adverse impacts on ecosystems and disruptions to their associated communities and economies. This includes changes in biogeography, ecosystem shifts, marine mortalities, and their associated socioeconomic ramifications, amongst other adverse impacts on ecosystems. For example, these may include closures of fisheries and whale entanglements. Sometimes the driver of marine heat waves can also cause other extreme weather events like droughts. So let's look at some of the drivers of marine heat waves. Marine heat waves may be caused by many things. Large scale and regional climate modes like El Nino Southern Oscillation and Pacific Decadal Oscillation or teleconnections and climatological features like atmospheric blocking and sea level pressure. Lastly, there could be caused by local processes on the mixed layer temperature, like ocean advection and eddy heat flux. For example, the 2014 through 2016 Northeast Pacific marine heat wave was caused by a high pressure system. It was nicknamed the ridiculously resilient ridge. This ridge not only caused the marine heat wave, but also blocked storm tracks and led to the drought in California. So now that we know about marine heat waves, how do we detect marine heat waves and or sea surface temperatures in general? Well, we can use a robot and throw it into the ocean like this yellow um, Argo float here in the bottom left. We can send a satellite up into space and remotely de detect the temperatures of the, of the ocean surface. Or we can use a CTD, a connectivity temperature and depth profiler seen in the upper right corner in the center of this rosette. The cross-section view of the CTD looks like this. Inside of this metal cage here is the connectivity, temperature, and depth profiler. I hope you learned something today. Feel free to contact me with any questions you may have, or if you want more resources and information about marine heat waves. Thanks for tuning in. Please follow, like, and subscribe to 
black and marine science.